Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and welcome to today's video. Today I've got a list video for you. I know for the past several days I've been actually reviewing single fragrances that are brand new 2021 releases, but I thought it was time for a really good list video. Now this is going to be one of my favorite list videos because I'm featuring my top seven fragrances that I feel belong to men that are a real man's man. Now, what exactly is a man's man? We're going to talk about that definition, kind of flesh it out a little bit, and then we're going to go over those seven fragrances when we return. So I got a lot of information stacked up and ready for you, so stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. So today's list video is again a really important one for me because I'm featuring seven of my favorite man's man or heroic fragrances. Now, I did say that we'd get into the definition of a man's man a little bit. According to the Urban Dictionary, which is usually got some funny definitions for what people think something is. This one I happen to agree with. It talks about a man's man being someone that's a real class act. They always shave, they wear clothes that fit, they're worldly wise, they're educated, they're well-traveled. While a real man's man is polite, he's not a pushover. He has his own opinions and he stands firmly to those, and yet he's not unable to reassess his belief system and change things based on new information. So you're not a pushover, you're not wishy-washy, but you're not so wholly bought into an idea or ideology just because your, your dad and his papa <laughs> believed in it, just because it's a family tradition. You're able to reassess based on new information and allow that to kind of dictate who you are and what your belief system is. That's basically what a man's man is, and these are seven fragrances that I believe a real man's man would actually wear. This is a list of seven in a top seven list, so let's start from number seven and move our way down to number one. Coming in at number seven is a fragrance that was created by Cecile Maton. It is a 2020 release, so it's fairly new. It was originally released to the UAE market. <laughs> Stronger With You leather has that Stronger With You DNA, so it's a nice gourmand fragrance. It's very familiar, but it also has that LME resin. It's got provincial lavender. This one I truly, truly enjoy. I wear it very frequently. I'm gonna run out of this bottle and have to get another one very soon. I, I love the presentation. The smell is amazing. It's, it's got that nice, sweet, lightly caramel toffee, but that sweetness has a half-life but that's not a bad thing because once it starts drying down, you pick up this blonde, nice light leather that gets stronger over time. And that's what you get at the base of this is that leather and stronger with you leather. And that's why it's my number seven man's man fragrance. Coming in at my number six is a real man's man fragrance for so many reasons. It's gonna be obvious when I tell you what it is. It is from the house of John Varvatos. <laughs> Dark Rebel Rider is just a really cool fragrance. I mean, you just have to take a look at it. You've got that whole zippered up leather uh, presentation that literally goes to the bottom. This looks like one of those saddlebags that's on the very side of a Harley Davidson, and it just has that really cool, dark, badass feel to it, and the smell is amazing. This is a, this is such a fantastic fragrance for John Barbados. As soon as you smell it, you get this really rich, dark, resinous, earthy fragrance. It's got some bitter orange, it's got some saffron, it's got marjoram, frankincense, benzoin, tolu bomb, and a really nice Russian leather. It's a richer, warmer leather than what you're used to, and if you're not a fan of sweet fragrances, which is, you know, the attribute of Stronger With You leather, then you'll really dig this one because it doesn't really have a lot of sweetness in it, just a tad. It's more of a dank, earthy, dark, incense, leather fragrance. And that's why it's my number six of a man's man fragrance. Coming in at my number five is a real classic fragrance for men. It is a creation of Jean-Claude Elena. It was came out in, I believe, 2006. You probably know what I'm referring to. It's from the house of Hermé or Hermès, and it is none other than... <laughs> Terra Diermans is a fantastic classic man's fragrance. Now this is one of those fragrances that when you spray on, you smell a kind of old, 
pure leather, but there's not a leather note in this. It's kind of it's a good example of how fragrance notes come when combined professionally can smell like a leather fragrance. This has benzoin, it's got flint stone in it, also some geranium, grapefruit, orange, pepper, a pink pepper, vetiver, and there's a nice woody cedar in the base as well. Terra Diermes, I don't really have to say much about this fragrance. Anyone who's familiar with it knows how much of a man's man's fragrance this is, and the projection is ridiculous off of this. The performance, I get a good 10, 12 hours, and that really is the heritage of Terra Diermes, and that's why it's been around for so long, but the price hasn't dropped. It's a classic man's man fragrance, and that's why it comes in at my number five, and probably is owing a higher spot, but that's where it sits for now. Coming in at my number four, from the house of Carolina Herrera. Now this is CH Men Grand Tour, the limited edition. This represents traveling through South America by train back in the olden days where things were a little bit more charming uh, and safe to travel, where there wasn't such a thing as a, as a pandemic, at least at that time. And so it harkens back to that, that rich, aristocratic, eloquent, charming, almost sepia time. And that's the sensation that you get out of this, the kind of leather that this feels like you're wearing when you wear it. It's, it's a really, it's a halcyon days fragrance. It truly is. You've got mate tea, you've got frankincense, cinnamon, nutmeg, you've got mahogany and suede in here. And that is a rich, dark combination of fragrant notes that has a light essence or a light feel to it. But it's a very masculine fragrance and that leather, that suede, makes it feel like a real man's man fragrance, that you are a world traveler. And that's why CH Men Grand Tour Limited Edition is my number four fragrance for man's man fragrances. All right guys, we're down to my top three. Coming in at my number three fragrance for a real man's man or alpha male fragrance is from the house of Victor and Rolf. This came out in 2015. Spice Bomb Extreme is one of those fragrances that when you pop the top off of it, it is just as good as the first day that you tried it. You never get, it never gets hackneyed, it never gets old, it never gets boring. The warm, sweet, manly, dark, rich blend that this is, is such a master stroke of a fragrance, it will always be in season. Now for a lot of people, this harkens the holidays because it's familiar spices that make you think of the holidays. But to me, this makes me think of a rich heritage that is passed down through the generations, just like a pair of leather gloves that when you put on, you're ready to jump in your Alfa Romeo and take off for a Sunday afternoon drive. You've got grapefruit, pimento, black pepper, cinnamon, cumin, saffron, and that wonderful base of tobacco, amber, vanilla, and cistus. Fantastic blend of resinous, powerful, evocative notes. Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf, my number three. Talk about a decision. It was really hard for me to choose between these two fragrances as to which would be two, which would be number one. What I finally settled with though for my number two is a not a designer fragrance. I'm cheating a little bit, but it's a brand that is really close to designer in terms of accessibility and price. Two things that we all enjoy, and I really appreciate this from this house, the House of Mancera. It's the extremely powerful and well-known Red tobacco is an incredibly powerful fragrance, and it's one of those that you can't judge it just based on the open or the heart. You really have to wait and let it settle. Uh, it's kind of confusing when you first smell it. it. Turns some people off, and right away they say, "Oh, I'll never wear that." But you really have to give it a—you have to give it a chance. This has saffron, cinnamon, frankincense, nutmeg, white peach. It's got apple. It's got oud, patchouli, jasmine, amber, guaiac wood, vetiver, vanilla, white musk, and of course. The primary player, what you get in this is tobacco. Now, if you're a cigar aficionado or if you walked into a tobacco shop, then you know just exactly what this smells like. All of those dark, rich, tobacco-y, vanilla, amber components coming together make this incredibly packed experience, and that's what red tobacco is. The performance is incredible. Out of this, this is a 10 to 12 hour fragrance for sure. But again, that's why Mancera Red Tobacco is my number two. All right, coming down to my number one, guys, here we are. This is the fragrance that I feel 
best speaks to me in terms of what a real man's man is. It's got an incredible backbone and strength to the fragrance itself. It's from the house of Gucci. <laughs> Gucci Guilty Absolute does not like any of the other Gucci Guilty flankers. This one really stands on its own as, in my estimation, the best Gucci Guilty has to offer. Absolute is an absolute marvel of a strong, medicinal, dark, rich, cured leather. It performs similarly to red tobacco, maybe not quite as long. This came out in 2017. Alberto Maria is the nose behind the fragrance. You've got wood leather, you've got golden wood, you've got nootka, cypress, and also a fine mix of dry, elegant vetiver and dark, rich, earthy patchouli. The combination is unparalleled to me again this fragrance stands on its own as being one of the darkest richest most antiseptic yet medicinal herbal combination of fragrance notes that are not off-putting like historically if you don't like medicinal fragrances fragrances that have that like medicinal edge to them I feel like you'll really like this one once you give it a chance because it doesn't stay that way that's just in the open once it starts drying down you get more of a that backbone is nothing but rich leather and that's why I love this fragrance and again, that's why it's my number one man's man fragrance. Well guys, that's it for my top seven man's man fragrances. Fragrances that I feel like if you're a heroic person or someone who's really stands up for what he believes in, is not afraid of change, not afraid of protecting those whom he loves, but also not afraid to kind of change his belief system based on new information, then you are really a man's man, and I think you should wear these fragrances. If you have these fragrances, or if you have any experience with them, please let me know what that is like. If you feel like other fragrances belong in this list, let me know that as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video, and as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.